Good morning. I'm Amanda Gwinnett, and I am back with another video. We are going to watch a reaction, of course, to this lovely judge right here. Lovely black woman, powerful woman. <laughs> now let's get into divorce court. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Michelle Tyner and Davinia Ellis. The two of you have been together for two years. You do not want to be together anymore. Mr. Tyner, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me uh, a little bit about your relationship and why you're seeking to end it here today? Well, the jealousy has just got to stop, Your Honor. It's just becoming too much. Um, <laughs> He and me, we talking about jealousy. Give me an outrageous example of her jealousy. What? Well, um, when we first met your honor. Uh, <laughs> what did you do? Why did you just get this shit on me? Say, uh, I recorded. When you first started dating? I mean, no, not, not it. No, so stop. Because yeah, well, I was going to say you're crazy if you continue right. to go out with a chick <laughs> when you first start dating. You're not going to talk. They already yeah, seen your head. Not right from the beginning, from the start, but as time went on, uh, we started dating, and um, it's like She's I was still, hot. I mean, mm -hmm. I was still d dating other people at the time. Yeah, I guess Peanut Lie 215 wants to do an appearance out of sure nowhere. I don't understand the, the, uh, the nature of the relationship. How long after you met did you move in together? Um, I would say maybe a month. Y'all get y'all snacks. Yeah, <laughs> Get y'all snacks, cause I got mine. <laughs> At least they ain't got no kids. Did you two sit down and have a conversation about what it what it meant to live together and why you wanted to live together and what you expected to Exactly. Um, I really, when I first met him, as time went on, it was kind of like you know. Look at the white girl in the back. <laughs> The way he came in was nice. <laughs> Girl, I was at all that. if I'm and explaining my spouse, I'm, a, I'm not going to sit there and explain that. That's not, that means y'all didn't even sit down and have a conversation together. My husband sat down with me and was completely blunt honest. I didn't like it, but who cares? At the end of the day, I've never been with somebody who's as blunt honest as he is. <laughs> that sound like my best friend <laughs> That sound like my best friend baby daddy <laughs> I ain't got nowhere to stay but I'm gonna stay with you <laughs> That's why I said at least she what didn't get pregnant Once you pregnant and especially if you pregnant with two kids by a baby daddy you don't want to fuck with That's on you <laughs> They started a company LCD together. So out of control. I had a, a big client that I was looking to uh, close a deal on. It just so happened the liaison for the company was a woman. Mm -hmm. So uh, she sent a, sent me an email because uh, we kind of hired her business was kind of way on the other side of town. Mm -hmm. I was on the other, so we decided to meet for lunch, sit down, kind of go over some things so we can close a deal. Uh, before that could happen, Ivina sent the lady an email. Asking her, what are you going out to lunch with my man for? And it's just kind no, of like, that's that's what, what, what yeah. happened? What happened was he um, he was talking to the lady, and they were actually, I guess, negotiating, negotiating business. But he was setting up an appointment to meet with her like at 7 o'clock at night. That is not lunch, that's dinner. Then I called him talking to her late at night, like at 10 o'clock at night. Who's talking to someone about business at 10 o'clock at night? Business hours are from 9 to 5. Uh, exactly. And what you talking to your <laughs> claiming that well I'm gonna sneak my way in to get more business because it's a woman. That's his whole thing. Do I'm gonna let her finish. Your charm, that deep voice and your good looks 
in order to uh, accumulate either business, some place to stay. The fact that he said I wouldn't say that means that you want to put it into a different term so then you can try to confuse people. Do you use your manliness? Do you use your face to manipulate women? That's what she asking. Answer the question. Okay. Have you ever really caught him doing anything yes. illicit? Yes. Explain this what you caught him. And she okay. called him. Six months into relationship, he always he was cheating on me already. I bust him, cheated on me with his ex ex lady or whoever he was dealing with. Now, did you get busted? Did that happen? He got busted. When you say got busted, what do you mean? So on social media, we both was going back and forth on our page, and his popped up, and I was able to actually read some of his, his inboxes. Well, what was he saying on those He was inboxes? saying, um, like, early in the morning, 6 a.m., inboxing this lady, saying, how are you doing? What's going on? Are we going to hook up? Just... I was like, were you, were you, you uh, emailing or inboxing those kinds of messages? I don't, I don't remember asking the hookup with anyone. I found out that the lady was in town, and he ended up admitting that he slept with the lady. I didn't know she was in town. Until and and the part about you admitting to having slept with her is completely made up out of whole cloth. Okay, he told, no matter, no he told me he slept with her. He told me he slept with her. He's a compulsive liar too. He likes to lie. He's a compulsive liar. The jealousy is that this is what I'm talking about. The Your last relationship. Is, well, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm, you immediately I'm, I'm, go to jealousy. If he has some blame. other points to go because off of, other than jealousy, say, there would be an understanding. You can't just point out, oh, jealousy, jealousy, no, jealousy. No, I mean, if, if, if you're, you're going to constantly say that someone's jealous, then, we, you know, then uh, you're the one cheating. She became very convenient for you. She did. When the text came, are you my booty call? I was able to get her number and then she lived because I called the girl because I knew that he was going over to her house. <laughs> Divorce isn't easy. If you need help with your breakup, call toll free at 1 877 311 2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. <laughs> Ms. Ellis, I'm going to get off this topic momentarily, but I want to allow you to give me your best evidence that Mr. Tyner has been che has cheated on you. Your best evidence. Well, I would say from you don't have evidence. a text that he received from a young lady. And the text said what? The text said, am I your booty call? And oh, do you I have the text? That he was coming from where the woman lived because I actually found out where the woman lived. If she had the text, then... The like, With girl, that, are you not screenshotting nothing in this man phone and sending it to yourself? I do not, Your Honor. My business is actually in the same area where this woman lived. And that this is what I was saying, that it's kind of like we started getting serious. That is and it's not like, true. Stop, Ms. Ellis. It's kind of like she knew, uh, I, like I said, I was dating other, other women, but she knew where the women lived, where they worked. Uh, what kind of car they drove? So you thought that she was I'm, running surveillance I'm, I'm, on I'm you like while you were dating? Of probation type of stuff. Well, let me ask on. you: If while you were dating, she pops up as a as as a security guard and she's as half a stalker, should have been a red flag. I know. I, I why I, move I in with her? Because it's not going to get better. Yeah, it, it never gets better. It so never what, gets better. What, what was your thought process on that? When you she keep running around? trailing my other girlfriends and stuff i, I don't know I, I, you know i we really you know connected and i liked it so i kind of went along with it but you know as time went on were you trailing my other, i'm confused when he's, he's con he, his contention he's is his contention is that when you first started dating and while he was still seeing other people that you knew where all the other girls lived what their phone numbers were as if you were surveilling him i never really had to it came up in my face when the text came, are you my booty call, I was able to get her number. And then I actually found out where she lived because I called the girl and disguised my voice to see because I knew that he was going over to her house. 
So as far as following you, I told him, honestly, I was like, yeah, I know where the girl li live at and everything. I never had anything to lie about because I'm not a liar. He is a liar. It wasn't that serious at it, the it, beginning. It was so, that serious because you it, was lying, and that's what yeah. you do. You lie. Ms. Ellis, if, if he was lying about that and you had to had to go around looking for him and checking up other women, why let the man move in your house? He already had moved in. He was already Then in. why wasn't his, why weren't his bags packed and on the corner? Because I love him, and I still do. Right. The minute I think I gotta get in the car and follow and GPS a guy and track a guy, I ain't got that kind of time. Yeah. I don't exactly. have that kind of temperament. Yeah. You know what I mean? It ain't that deep. Mm -hmm. You know, you want somebody else, you it's go not. get them. I, you know. It was because of the love. And then he would always say, Well, I'm not doing that. And then it was like the the good at that time was outweighing the bad. That's so I would give him another chance and we kept going on and on. And then finally I'm just like, I'm sick of it because I called him again at our office. To understand. Which was our office with a woman in the office. And he claims that it wasn't nothing, but I found out through the when emails and texts it was not something. Right. And then he still lied about that and said, you oh, sit I'm there and ignore the signs. trying to use her and I was saying anything about that. And I'm like, which one is it? Did you fall in love with the girl? Are you playing her? What are you doing? And constantly lies after lies after lies. So now I'm just like, you know what? I'm too old for this. I don't have time for these games, and I'm sick of it. And he should feel like he's too old for it, but he keeps going on and on like a, a kid. Don't let him turn you into Glenn Close. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't that let part. Him do that. I mean, that part. A, I think he's a player. I think he does. I don't want him to close. I really do, but don't put up with it. He can't do it to you until, unless you let him. Yep. And, and you, you should have more. You're a beautiful woman. Go home. Go home. Look in the mirror. For a second, there. Just kind of drink it all in. <laughs> True. And then look over there like, out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> out. Mm -hmm. Well, Your Honor, let me tell you this. It's kind of like I run a business, okay? So uh -huh. after things didn't work out and I get my emails and social media, my phones are getting. I mean, I, I've had family members even call me and say, Did you know your, your woman called me the other morning? I'm just like, uh, you know, what are you oh, calling oh, people? Listen, out of Mr. Tyner, the crazy card has been played. Yeah, it's know, down yeah. there. I know she, I know, I know she's Glenn Close. Yeah. I get that. You know, we, we can move on from that. I'm telling her. Yeah. The minute she feels like she has to stalk her brother, that means he don't want her and she got to go. Yeah, mm -hmm. Right? It's a lot. It's a that's, lot. that's a go. That's mm -hmm. all I'm saying. When you take a shower, you know, you take maybe a five, ten minute shower, not a 45 minute shower. For her kids and her house, who are you to tell her how much shower time they should have? He got their food. If you would like your case to be heard on divorce court, call us toll free at 1 877 Man, they both some fools. I don't give a damn. Log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Mm -hmm. You say, well, well I'm going to start with you, Mr. Tyner. You say that you have different parenting styles for her children. And so why don't you tell me what your concerns are with respect to the way in which yeah, her children, children are parented? Well, um, I was raised, you know, kind of old school. Uh-huh. How old um, are the kids, by the way? Uh, 10 and 16. Okay. So um, I was raised old school, and I mean... When you take a shower, you know, you take maybe a five, ten minute shower, not a 45 minute shower. Like, you know, you're done with the TV games at night, you shut them down, you know, things are being mm -hmm, left mm -hmm, on. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like when I get on the kids and, and sort of try to discipline them or chastise them about that, I'm being too hard on the kids. And I feel like, you know, I'm in a, in a place where, you know, I have no say, you know, when it comes to disciplining the kids. And that, that's not a good feeling to have as a man in the home that's trying to be a male for are you are you paying bills there too? I mean, you guys are splitting yes, the rent and all that kind of stuff. Is that yeah. true? Not splitting the rent, no. What um, does he pay? He was paying the cable and our cell phone bill, and then he complained about that. Was that it? Cables, yeah, everything. I, um, I pay for the office. We went half on the office. Um, but I'm talking about the rent. house where you the lived house. and where you laid your head. Yeah, for Did a while I was. There? But then, no, you was not. Then, when, when, when the bills started getting extra astronomically high, I just felt like I no. and I had no say so and. and Bills becoming that high. I, I, I don't just, believe. No, that was his complaint. These two were the first two years. Ms. Ellis, I'm going to give him a little room here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those were her kids and her house. Who are you to tell her how much shower time they should have? <laughs> I, no, no, I was waiting no, for it. I was waiting it's for it. Business. Those are her kids. You're not her. No, you didn't. You didn't step in her to life in her life as a permanent fixture. You didn't come in there saying, "I want to give you a ring and I'm going to share a future with you." Therefore, we're going to take on the 
the job of parenting these children together. You were just a brother who wanted out of his mother's house. And then you're going to go in her house and tell her kids how long a shower they can take. And yeah. about it. And you got your nerve. <laughs> <laughs> speak, Judge. Speak. You better hear her loud and clear. Both y'all need to hear her shit. Like, yeah, that's what he was mad about. He was really mean to the kids most of the time. And I would have to let him know, you know, that stuff is irrelevant. I don't care about a water bill. I have to pay it anyway. So then it came to food. The kids are eating too much food. But the point of the matter is I'm buying the food. You're pitching in every blue moon to buy food which is very small. And I'm just like, what are we doing? It, it doesn't matter. You were out of place, out of order. Mm -hmm. And we're off to another subject, Miss Ellis. Why don't you tell me? You say he's cheap. Mm -hmm. I guess we've already begun that conversation. <laughs> exactly. Very but cheap. Why don't you complete it for me? Well, for the first two years, you know, I helped him establish the business. And as he, we build the business up, he didn't want me doing the invoices, which I thought that I would do the, the office work because he wanted to keep tab on the money. And as it was going, he was making good money. So then the following two years, it's more so like now, oh, I didn't make that much money. But sometimes you're making about $700 a day doing a clean out with the business. And I just never understood that. Like, why are you not contributing towards, you know, the home bills? He took the office bill, bills more important than the home bills. Or even just us going out. Like, when my birthday came around, never having Because he was birthday, giving that money to other bitches. Oh, I don't have any money. So then I'll get a dinner. But when your birthday come, I make a big deal out of it because that's just who I am. I'm a giver. So I like to do nice things. But just always taking advantage. And then the little things that he would do for the kids, he would always be petty about. Oh, I just bought this. I just bought that. Yeah. Now, I don't even buy things for my kids. Whose fault is that? You no, know, I've encouraged you several times to do for your children. Mr. I'm Mr. Not Tyler, is it, I will give you an opportunity to respond to those charges. No. I do plenty of much for my children. Are you cheap at her house, though? That well, I mean, my business slows, slows down around the, the winter months, so it's always tight around Christmas, not just her birthday, which is in, in December, Christmas as well. It gets kind of slow for all for her and myself around that time. You so. make a lot of money in the summertime. You don't do anything with us, which brings back to the fact that you don't do anything we for are, my kids. Are, you don't take my kids nowhere. So it don't matter how much money you're you making. Once. Even if you're making money during the summer, you could be saving half of that money. So where is that money going to? I got it. I got it. I got it. In divorce court, couples tell me everything about their relationships. Want to share your experience? Join the conversation on our Twitter page at Divorce Court. On Facebook, check out other fans and their intimate issues. You know everybody has something to say about love. What's on your mind? So is he out of the house? Yes. When did he leave? Um, about three weeks ago. Is he out for good? I mean, we, we've still been seeing each other. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. I never know who I want to yell at more sometimes. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> takes a, his looks and, and, and that deep voice and he plays women and he don't have it together, you know, uh, gets a woman interested in him and he was playing around, he was fooling around, he was fooling around from the beginning because he used you. You got used and then you saw what he was about, you saw what he was doing, but you sat there all doe-eyed like a deer in the headlights and just let him do it to you and do it to you and do it to you. And then he's going to come in your house and then, you know, it was my business and you worked for me when you did the business together. I mean, what a trifling individual and you just stood there and took it. I don't understand. Exactly. He's trifling as fuck. Ms. Ellis, uh, move forward. Like, you not even a dad. Move don't be telling them <laughs> how long they take a shower. Bro, if I need a 45 minute shower, I would take a 45 minute shower. In the shower in the house that you made for him. You should be a you don't even take care of your own kids, sir. It distresses me to no end when women allow men to come into their homes, change their lives, make the rules, run around, and then turn around and keep them because they love them. Ladies, it's okay to be alone. <laughs> all right guys that's the end of this video thank you guys for watching i'll catch up with you guys later this was renee the gamer and these are gonna be like a new type of video that i'm gonna be doing i hope you guys really enjoy this because i enjoy watching divorce court because it's hilarious because 
half the time both of them be stupid <laughs> but thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys later go ahead and like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye